All right, thank you very much, and all our best, of course, to that, uh, that patient. Uh, time to talk some business. For that, we switch things over to uh, Mike Apple at the 680 News Business Desk. Mike? Hey, Kevin, good morning. The uh, Target discount sale getting a little bit uh, uh, more uh, uh, inexpensive, I guess we'll call it, uh, this morning as the company has taken out ads, uh, saying that uh, the discounts are now 30 to 50 percent. Remember when uh, Target first announced that they were exiting the country, the initial discounts only 10 percent. A lot of people were a little disappointed with that. Uh, analysts figured, though, this was the way this was going to play out on a liquidation basis, that the discounts would just be expanded as we approach the May uh, exit point for Target Canada. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if there's much left on the store shelves after this latest round of discounts at Target. Costco's in with earnings this morning. And again, the big box retailer doing better than expected. Earnings more than a half billion dollars for profitability. Sales up, and that uh, excludes, of course, uh, what they do in the gasoline retailing business, where you always see big lineups at the uh, Costco gas pumps. The stock has been a very good performer over the past year and indicated at an all-time high to start this trading day. Apple said to be delaying the rollout of a larger screen iPad. Their largest screen currently is just a little less than 10 inches. They're talking about a 13 inch screen, but that's going to be pushed back to uh, the end of the year, uh, likely because of production issues. And the Canadian dollar up this morning after the Bank of Canada uh, did not move on interest rates yesterday and the price for oil climbing for a third day. Kevin, back to you.